And I say, what's up, y'all? It's TC time. What's up, y'all? It's TC time. Sit right back and have a good time. Watch this, build this, bam, bam. What's up, y'all? This is TC. And thanks for tuning in to, to, again to another episode of TC Time. The reason why we're here today, I had a customer. He has a, a pool cleaning business. And he's got a, an air compressor that I've never, I've never messed with, I've never even seen uh, or used. Anyways, this thing puts out 185 CFN. Now, anybody that knows anything about air compressors, that's a lot of CFN. The strongest thing I've ever, I've ever personally used is a 22 CFM, and that's the one that I use at work in, in the shop that you guys have seen the demonstration videos on that already. Anyways, this particular individual wanted to buy five of these guns, and here's the deal. I'm just a regular guy, guys, and if I was to go out and purchase enough materials to buy to, to make five of these guns, and it didn't work on an air compressor that was that strong, I'd be in trouble. So I had to come up with some type of solution to see if, if it was going to work on even the strongest air compressor that you can that you can buy now. The air compressor he uses, from what I understand, is used to operate a jackhammer. And he uses it to clean to, to clean swimming pools. Really nice, super nice guy. So what I've done today is I've taken a CO2 tank that I bought at a yard sale last year. I had no idea what I was going to do with it. I looked it up on Google, and from what I understand, this thing puts out 10,076 PSI. Now, a normal normal air compressor, no matter how big it is, is the maximum you're going to get out of it is 175 PSI unless you do something special to it. So, this thing's putting out 10 times more PSI than a regular air compressor. We're going to see what it does. Now, he told me that he purchased a Hydroforce. Uh, it's the only other pneumatic pressure washer out there that sort of works. But, you know, it's, it's 800 bucks. It's big and bulky, and long story short, he said whenever he ran his compressor on the 185 CFM through the Hydroforce, it did not work. Now, from building these things, I, I figured out that if you don't get the inner power pipe past this T, the air going across that T acts just kind of like a valve, and what happens is you get this water surge that goes, chur, 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 and it just does not work right. You know, the optimal length for your inner power pipe is all the way up to the barrel. You know, the, you have a pipe inside of a pipe that goes all the way up to the inside of this barrel. And if you do that and make sure that your barrel is uh, cut off large, just a little bit larger than the inner power pipe, you know, from what I've experienced, it'll work off of anything, even just like a little portable bubble until you run out of air. Now, the uh, air compressor I use at home, it's just a little cheap 30 gallon Harbor Freight air compressor and it, it washes the car just fine. So anyways, this is my workaround, uh, 10,076 PSI, it's a CO2 tank. So here we are, here we go. We're gonna operate the King's gun, run on CO2. Let's see what it does, guys. All right, now we have a garden hose uh, attached right here. This is a Dollar General on-off valve. Um, the demonstration videos you guys have seen me do at work have uh, I've ran just directly through that ball valve right there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need a whole big bunch of water flow to do this demonstration, so I, I wanted a on-off valve right there. So that's just water right there. We're going to go ahead and open up our valve right here. Now, do not do this at home. This, is, this could be extremely dangerous. This uh, air hose I have hooked up right here. It's it's, it's a hydraulic hose. You know, it's rated at 4,000 PSI, and don't hook up, don't do this. This is, this is bad if, if you don't know what you're doing. So here we go, we're gonna turn on the, the uh, CO2 tank. We're gonna do this in two different stages. We're gonna turn the CO2 on. We're gonna turn the ball valve on, I put on right there. Just fine. 
All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to TC Time. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this answers any questions. And guess what? I'm ready to sell those five guns. It's going to work.